afternoon and welcome. Welcome to Corporate Governance Platform, a program brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. My name is Fumi Omoburiu. All right, uh, last week on the program, we talked about the National Code on Corporate Governance. Uh, any rationale for the Dual Audit Committees for PLCs? That was our focus on the show last week and this week we're going to be looking at the draft national code on corporate governance 2018 what are the special rules of the board risk management committee and that my guests are already seated right here uh, i have uh, mrs toy sunny fcis fellow ixan founder and ceo emerging africa capital group good morning good morning good Thanks to have you on the here. show same here. Okay, and uh, I have uh, my regular guest uh, talking about <laughs> Mrs. Nkechi or yes, a registrar. Ixan, good morning. Good morning. For good me. to have you on the show as always. <laughs> Thank you. And, and congratulations to you as uh, been mentioned as uh, one of Nigeria's most inspirational women. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's lovely. Great women doing great things in great places. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And that's why we have all women here today. Yeah, it's going to be a women <laughs> affair. <laughs> it's going to be a women affair uh, show this morning. But hey, we're not talking women affairs this morning. We're talking uh, draft national code on corporate governance 2018. 18 and what are the special roles of the board risk management committee and uh, I'll be starting with you Mrs. Uh, Toyin Sani on this one let's talk about risk management when we say risk management what exactly are we talking about well risk management refers to the practice of identifying um, what I call um, the likely causes of deviation in outcome so identifying risk risk itself is um, related to deviation in outcome. So when what you expected from your business is A and you get B, you know, what are the risks that you will get B when you were expecting A? And risk management is a process by which you identify those risks and then you put in place measures that will contain those risks, mitigate them, or occasionally actually eliminate them such that at the end of the day the business actually arrives where it intended to arrive and not somewhere else mm. okay that is risk management an essential part of corporate governance absolutely risk management is critical to corporate governance um, there cannot be effective governance without taking um, adequate consideration for the risks that would arise in the course of running a business so risk management is an integral part of corporate governance definitely so if we're talking risk management uh, who are those or who is the person who should be responsible for risk management in an organization okay there is a concept called risk ownership and the latest understanding is that everybody in the organization has a responsibility for risk management so traditionally there were the, there was a thought that risk management was a responsibility of the risk management officer and risk management division but the problem with that is that risks that arise on everybody's desks are best dealt with at the place of incidents so risk management is responsibility first of all of the board which has ultimate overall responsibility for the business the executive management the ceo and finally every single desk officer has a role to play in risk management but sometimes you see some people like you said earlier oh you feel it belongs to some people sure. but how do you now put this in the mind of everyone how do you integrate them into knowing that yes risk management is everyone's responsibility Absolutely. Every well-run organization should pay attention to education, sensitization of all its personnel as to the importance of risk management, as to the fact that the entire organization can be derailed by poor risk management. For example, a lot of the uh, financial um, sector crashes that happened around 2007 and 2008 were based on poor risk management in the institutions and these were global top global institutions so it's very important to sensitize every member of staff to the um, 
relevance of risk management and the fact that each one of them has a role to play. How are you able to look forward and see, oh, there's going to be a risk up front? <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, no, no one will really pray for something. Uh, you talked about, you know, the meltdown and all that, but no one will really want that to happen. But how are you able to look forward and say, okay, probably this will arise? There's, a, there's an aspect of risk management that is called scenario analysis. Okay. The truth of the matter is this is a whole board. I mean, how do I put this? This is a whole range of study and thought and i'm so excited that ixon is organizing this program and i'm very very sure in a short while the um executive um registrar who is here will be able to tell us exactly how you know you train people okay. to identify risks and to properly and effectively manage the risks but definitely you have to assume first of all if you're running a good business you need to go through an exercise in which you assume that anything that can possibly go wrong will at some stage or the other go wrong mm -hmm. and then you plan what would you do if things went wrong okay so that's being proactive you don't have to wait for it and then you begin to think Abs what what really would i do at this point absolutely you must be very proactive um and um somebody says that um, you need to be paranoid only the paranoid survive mm, okay <laughs> now no, let's look at uh, the board should they have a committee since you're saying oh everyone should uh, be careful of the risk everyone should be responsible for the risk that comes to their table should now there be a risk management committee oh absolutely um, so the current corporate governance code I mean actually does stipulate that companies should have a committee that has oversight responsibility for the risk management function. Um, this may not be the exclusive role of that committee, but definitely it must be a key function of the committee. So every company should have a board that has risk management um, a risk management committee or a committee that has risk management as one of its key functions. And they will then formulate policies and put in place frameworks that um, will guide the companies in the right approach to risk management. Okay, so what, what should the constitution of the committee look like? Who are those who should belong? Well, it would have a combination of executives and non-executives, but the preference is usually for the chair to be a non-executive, preferably even independent. Any and particular also, reason for that? I, I will tell you the reasons. Okay. And then even majority of the members it is preferred for them to be non-executives now if you're an executive um, like me for example you're a ceo you have um, a target that you want to meet um, your decisions are driven by your profit making objectives it is nice to have non-executives who are thinking beyond profits who are thinking of societal impact, who are thinking of the reputational risk of certain decisions that you may want to make. You like them to head and to actually be the majority in the risk management because they can see things more objectively. They can see beyond the profit motive. And also they have a different perspective because most of them are not executives in your business. So they're coming from other industries and other businesses. Mm -hmm. and so they have a broader view. And at the end of the day, in the multitude of counsel, as the Bible says, there is safety. Okay. Okay. Now, you, you talked about, um, you know, the risk uh, management committee having some other responsibilities. Sure. D don't you think uh, such other responsibilities might just uh, take their attention off, you know, that what should be a major or primary uh, focus? Okay. Um, so, first of all, if you were a bank, for example, or a very big you know, public institution, I would say there is a case for the risk management um, committee being focused exclusively on risk management. But if you were a smaller business, it will be okay for the risk management committee to take on other ancillary roles like audit, for example, compliance. So it can be a risk audit, risk management audit and compliance committee. Those will be ancillary roles that will actually aid them also in playing the 
oversight role for risk management. Mm, okay, great. Now, um, uh, Mrs. Oye, so let's look at uh, Ixen training. Does uh, Ixen training have a module on risk management? Yes, we do. In the professional part two, we have uh, training on risk management and corporate governance. We have also something on risk management and internal control, like Mrs. Sonny has said. And uh, everybody that um, writes the interest exam has to write and pass this model to be called the chartered secretary. So we take risk management as um, a core um, issue in corporate governance and we train um, our members and students on it. Not a one of training, we also have continuous training every other year, okay. uh, if sometimes two, three times a year, if there are new things, new trending issues on risk management or any other aspect of corporate governance. Mm. So where can one get these lectures? Um, the Institute has um, various lecture centers all over Nigeria. We have uh, in Lagos, we have uh, in Victoria Island, in Maturi, in Iyanopaja, in Ipaja. We also have in Abuja, Ibadan, Kaduna, Potakot, Uyo, Calabar. We have um, uh, full details of the addresses of these lecture centers on our website, www.ixon.org. So you have the full details and contact persons. You can take lectures in any of these um, locations in the country. But th this issue of risk uh, management, does Ixon organize probably workshops, apart from uh, lectures and all that? Do they organize workshops and training for pra practicing executives uh, in the area of risk management? Yes, we do. We have workshops. We have a minimum of three, four workshops a month. And um, we talk on various aspects of corporate governance, including risk management. So we are able to support and advise organizations on um, risk management and even um, the constitution of your committee, the board committee for risk management. We're happy to work with organizations for this. Mm, okay, great. But um, Mrs. Sonny, in case um, the risk management committee fails, what happens? If, 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 they, if they're unable to manage the risk. <laughs> <laughs> well, well the, the good news is that there is collective responsibility for risk management in every well-run institution. So first of all, the chief executive officer of that institution, at the end of the day, the box stops at your table. So as a CEO, you have these committees and the board and your risk management division and all of your personnel to support you and to help you mm. but you need to understand that the box stops at your table okay. so if for any reason they fail you better not fail so you will need to all first of all ensure that the right people feed and proper people with the right experience the right exposure the right understanding of governance and risk management are put in those committees and then you give them all the tools the support the training that is required to ensure that they can do a great job and from time to time you make whatever changes you make sure the board makes whatever changes need to be made to make sure that they don't fail Great. Okay, uh, before we go this morning, uh, Mr. Zayin, so quick, let's talk about the uh, workshop on legal documentation of contracts in the past sector, which is coming up soon. Uh, yes, we have um, a, a in-house well training on the 16th of August, taking place at the National Secretariat, Plot 6, Elephant Cement, we allow Ikeja. We're looking at the legal documentation of contracts in the power sector and we'll be looking at things uh, on to the learning outcomes include knowledgeable on operating guidelines of the power sector knowledgeable of power generation and distribution and participants also will be prepared to be um, prepare power sector contracts suitable for the purpose we're looking at legal practitioners and and other um, professionals interested in this sector on how to build um, documentation for the sector it's uh, going for 50,000 naira only and is on the 16th of uh, august uh, you could call us on 0908-398-0000 that's the hickson helpline on this program or any other program that relates to the institute Okay, great. And uh, lectures are ongoing for the professional exams and, and all that. So for as many people who might also want to become chartered secretaries and administrators, uh, what are the steps involved? How can they be part of this? Um, we have lectures in 
various locations in the country and uh, you can get the details on our website as i said earlier on uh, lectures and uh, registration as a student is all year you can register any time in the year okay. but for those interested in writing the december examinations the closing date for examination registration is october 31st 2018 so again you can call this helpline to get more details about the program the helpline again zero nine zero eight three nine eight zero 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 nine zero eight three nine eight zero 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 all right, so that uh, package this morning on corporate governance platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan. Big thank you to my guests this morning, Mrs. Toy Sonny, FCIS, fellow Ixan, founder and CEO, Emerging Africa Capital Group. It's wonderful having you on the show this morning. You're welcome. All right, uh, and also a uh, big thank you to Mrs. Nkechi Onyeso. Okay, uh, Registrar Ixan, who's uh, always here, and it's been uh, <laughs> a Women Affairs uh, <laughs> program this morning since we're all women right here. Okay, so thank you and, for me. Uh, good to have you here as always. All right, and big thank you to Oladoni Ogunsoliri, who's also here. You get to hear more from her in subsequent programs. Okay, so that's a package this morning, Corporate Governance Platform. Let's do this again next week, Wednesday, 10 15 a.m., right here on the Creative Night. 0.7 FM RM for me or Moburio. Enjoy the rest of the day.